After several decades of determined exploration and over two years of construction, Kamoa Copper is ready to commence copper production with the hot commissioning of the Kakula Concentrator. The Concentrator itself took 18 months to build, with components sourced from over 12 countries and delivered in 2,485 truckloads, a significant achievement in the midst of a global pandemic. The design and construction resulted in many firsts for the DRC. The 400-ton crane used to place the mills was the biggest in the country, while the rougher flotation cells are also the largest in the DRC. The high-pressure grinding rolls and Jamison flotation cells are the first of their kind in the DRC. The Kakula concentrator's current capacity is 3.8 million tonnes per annum, with plans to start up the second module in quarter three, 2022, taking capacity up to 7.6 million tonnes per annum in 2022. The mining team has been extracting and stockpiling high-grade copper ore since May 2020, and currently has more than 3.3 million tonnes of ore on surface at an average grade of 4.87% copper, ready to be processed. Supporting infrastructure has been built in parallel with the construction of the concentrator to ensure efficient, uninterrupted functioning once the commissioning has been completed. Several components of the supporting infrastructure have been purposefully designed to limit Kamoa's environmental footprint. The plant uses sustainable hydropower and over half of the tailings will be returned underground as backfill, resulting in a smaller environmental footprint. Join us on the step-by-step -step commissioning journey of the Kakula Concentrator as we take our copper from mine to market to support the green energy transition. During the commissioning process, ore is taken from the stockpile and fed into the plant where it undergoes several metallurgical processes to extract copper concentrate. The copper concentrate is then processed, dried, bagged and shipped to market, whilst the tailings are managed carefully to limit the impact on the environment. Over nine and a half million man hours have been dedicated to constructing the plant and final testing and calibration has been completed. Run of mine ore from underground at a rate of 475 tonnes per hour is fed into the crushing and screening surface plant to prepare the material for the high pressure grinding rolls. The high pressure grinding rolls crush material into finer particles to prepare it for the ball mills, where two-stage milling grinds the material and liberates the copper sulphide in preparation for flotation processes. With the mechanical processes complete and the ore finely ground, the chemical processes are ready to commence. The material moves into the rougher scavenger flotation circuit where reagents are added to the milled slurry in preparation for the flotation process. The slurry is then pumped to the flotation cells whereby low pressure blower air is introduced and the copper sulphide minerals attach to the air bubbles and float to the top of the flotation cell. The fast floating and liberated copper sulphide particles are recovered onto the rougher flotation concentrate and then moved to the high grade cleaner flotation. The scavenger low-grade concentrate moves to scavenger cleaner flotation. During the high-grade cleaner flotation, more reagents are added and the concentrate is upgraded into a high-grade final concentrate increment and pumped to the concentrate thickener. The scavenger low-grade concentrate is upgraded in the scavenger cleaner flotation tank cells. Scavenger cleaner concentrate is then fed into the regrind mill for further liberation prior to the last upgrading stage on the scavenger recleaner flotation. The reground concentrate then moves to the scavenger recleaner flotation plant where reagents are added to separate liberated waste material from the copper sulfide minerals. Scavenger recleaning concentrate is then pumped to final concentrate thickener.
The copper concentrate recovered from both the high grade and the low grade process moves to the concentrate thickener where the concentrate is dewatered to a pulp containing 60% solids to prepare the material for concentrate filtration. The resulting waste material, called tailings, is dewatered on the tailings thickener. Water is recovered for reuse in the process and the thickened slurry is pumped into the surge tank that optimizes capacity of the tailings storage facility. The resulting tail slurry at the Kukula concentrator can take one of two paths. Around half of the tailings are pumped to the backfill plant, where it is prepared to be pumped back underground to fill mined out areas and maximize mining extraction. The remaining tailings are pumped to the tailings storage facility, which was designed according to international best practice standards and is independently managed and monitored. The concentrate moves from the thickener plant to the concentrate filtration plant, where water is further removed to dry out the concentrate to filter cake. The filter cake are transferred on the concentrate loadout conveyor to the bagging and loading facility. The Kukula concentrate bagging facility is designed to operate 24 hours a day and can handle in excess of 500 bags of high-grade concentrate per day during phase one resulting in around 30 truckloads per day, of which some are being moved to the local smelter for market. With the Kukula concentrator commissioned ahead of schedule and the massive high-grade ore stockpile on surface, the Kukula concentrator will be able to achieve full production capacity and recovery soon. Construction of the second module of the Kukula concentrator is already underway. Commissioning of the second module is expected in the third quarter of 2022, with many of the shared infrastructure components already completed for the operation of Phase 1. The commissioning of the second module will take Kamoa Copper to an estimated 7.6 million tonnes of ore, producing approximately 400,000 tonnes of copper per year, placing Kamoa as one of the top producing copper mines in the world.